ready to party? Because we're ready to party. We have a little engagement, a little soiree, if you will, planned here at the Bot House. We are celebrating numerous things, including our friend Kate Shox's birthday, it's a holiday, it's our extremely belated housewarming party, and to appropriately you know, celebrate these things with food, which is something that I like to do. We're going to be laying some awesome, awesome raw appetizers on you guys. And we're gonna be showing you that there's a lot more to fresh starts to your meal than that tired, dried up crudite platter that someone brought from Safeway that was put together like two weeks ago. I'm going to be demonstrating how to make fresh pesto stuffed mushroom caps. These are so delectable, they're wonderful little morsels, and I think you guys are gonna enjoy them a lot. For stuffed mushroom caps, you will need 24 small cremini mushrooms, de-stemmed and marinated for about an hour or two overnight in a quarter cup olive oil, a quarter cup namashoyu or soy sauce, a quarter cup apple cider vinegar, whisked together with four cloves of minced garlic and a liberal grinding of fresh black pepper. For the pesto pate, two cups basil leaves packed tightly, one cup walnuts, a half cup pine nuts, two tablespoons nutritional yeast, two tablespoons olive oil, and sea salt. So here we have, as you can see, our mushroom caps. And they've been hanging out in their marinade for several hours now. And as far as you're concerned, I would say have them in there at least an hour, at most overnight. Kind of the longer the better, it just gives it more time to soak up all this deliciousness. So you can see they're kind of like nice and soft and glossy and they're soaking up the juices. So now when you're ready to assemble your dish, you're gonna to wanna to take them out of the liquid, maybe dry them off a little bit with a towel, paper towel, and then you're ready to make your pesto and stuff them. Now it's time to make the pesto. This is one of those things that's super easy, and super easy is great when you're going to be entertaining. The first thing you do is take your walnuts and put them in your food processor, and then do pulse, 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 until they look a little something like this. Now everything else just goes in the food processor along with your walnuts, and then you blend it until it has a nice, thick, pasty consistency. Your pine nuts, your garlic, nutritional yeast, sea salt, of course your basil, and your olive oil. nice, thick, delicious, aromatic filling already here in your food processor, you are ready to stuff it into your mushroom caps. As you can see, it's very thick, and as you probably can't see because you're just watching, it smells amazing. So you've taken your mushrooms out of their marinade and given them a little bit of a pat dry, and then you're ready to go ahead and start filling them with your delicious, delicious pesto. Just a little bit of each one. assembled and they're ready to enjoy if that's your taste or you could try heating them up in your dehydrator about an hour before serving pop them in there and kind of let them warm through a little bit let the flavors mingle and get to know each other or this is something that you could also put in your oven on the lowest setting with the door a little bit ajar just kind of let them warm through until they're warm but not hot Tune in next episode, where we'll show you the rest of our party food lineup, as well as how to make our delicious creamy garden dill dip, and some shots from the party. 